Good morning everyone. Today we have our 2015 Carolina Skiff. It's a 178 DLV. It is the modified V-Haul. It's not a flat bottom so it does um, uh, perform pretty well. It, you won't pop around like the flat bottom ones. Um, boat also has a 90 horsepower Suzuki four-stroke engine with probably under a hundred hours is what the owner estimates we can get it uh, eventually we can get it uh, hooked up to a computer but it's definitely under a hundred very light use boat uh, is a perfect dual functioning Chesapeake Bay boat or any type of lake boat you can fish, you can crab, you can even pull a skier with it, it's got enough horsepower to it, it gets up and goes with that 90 but it also has a bimini top, which you can see here currently on the boat. Never been bottom painted. Fold down swim ladder. Engine's in great shape as far as cosmetically. The hull shows very well. No big dings, dents, or scratches. Dock rash. Oh, it's never been left in the water overnight. There's the. Uh, modified V. It also comes with this single axle Tidewater trailer. We walk around the other side here. Here's the other side of the hall. Caroline skips are very popular for many reasons. But it's not so shallow that it, you know, your knee, the gunnel goes up to about your knee or just above it. So um, you can definitely, you feel a little bit more secure than most skiffs, that's for sure. It doesn't feel like a skiff. Um, another cool feature is you have a uh, front a seat that will move both forward or towards the bow or towards, you know, the way it is now while you're driving or fishing. It flip-flops back and forth. We also have a cooler that goes underneath the seat. It's not in the boat right this second. Another cool feature that is integrated into this are the seats that if you're using it or whether you have some passengers in the boat, they just snap down and up uh, for people to sit. Otherwise, you can just stand on them. They're both in great shape. Uh, both All the cushions in the boat are in great shape. Stainless uh, cup holders. It also has area to get to the battery. Areas to work on your bilge. A little aerated live well, which is pretty cool for fishing in a small little 18 foot boat. That's a nice feature. Some storage underneath the console. Standard gauge instrumentation. There's no electronics on the boat, uh, no depth finder, fish finder, or radio, but the dash is very flush and ready for some electronics to be flush mounted. <laughs> uh, it does; They do provide an area for you to do that if you so choose to flush mount any electronics. Rod holders here on the other side of the console. Uh, the jump seat forward. More storage underneath here. Oh, actually, sorry, I didn't know. It's another aerated live well. So it has two live wells on um, this 18-foot boat. That's a cool feature. It's really meant to do a lot of fishing. More storage forward. Anchor locker. More storage on the port side here with locks on them. We have the lock, I'll double check. Very clean, basically new boat. Why buy new when you can buy a 2015 with hardly any hours on it and the sticker value is a lot less. Uh, we're gonna drop her in the water and show you how she runs. Keep an eye on our uh, YouTube channel as well for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe, thanks.
That's our 2013, 2015 Carolina Skiff 178 DLV with a modified V, not a flat bottom. Uh, don't forget to give us a call if you have any questions at 443-324-1368. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can find at the bottom of uh, the video that you're currently watching. Hit subscribe now. MDBoatSales.com. Thanks for watching, guys.